Today's an exciting day. We're just about ready to head to the island. We stopped off at Damien's to pick up the barge that we left there last night. He's busy putting the finishing touches on the bung he installed for us. This will be fantastic because now we'll be able to haul the barge out and drain it whenever we need to. We've been looking at welds lately and it's been yeah. kind of stunning actually. There's a lot of bad welders, <laughs> you know, and... Uh, yeah, you do a beautiful job. You know, people are always like, oh, I just get, you know, Cousin Ronnie to weld my stuff. Together. <laughs> don't, don't really see what <laughs> nice welds are sometimes. That's right. He's just priming that because we're going to be painting this barge. Beautiful. Now are we going to be able to unscrew that thing? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. With a wrench, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. I won't rust. Damien, I'm tickled. <laughs> Can't wait to get this barge painted up. Yeah. That'll be really fun. Oh, I was thinking, hey Damien. <laughs> I was thinking we could build or drill a couple of holes uh, for the wiring for the bilge pump and then a through hole for the, for the exit. What what size hole are you thinking? Uh, well, the exit will need to be uh, one inch. One inch. Yeah. Or whatever you have that's close, inch and an eighth, because that's the size of the bung. Okay. And then for the wiring, it's it's just a couple of wires. Is that the one and three eighths? That's the one inch. Oh, okay. And then that one, so we can die grind that out a ton for inch and an eighth. Huh? Wow, look at what a perfect hole that makes. going to make that hole just a little bit bigger so that it matches with the hose that will be going into the pump. Well, that's nice. What do you got there? Inch and an eighth on the money. Perfect. Thank you so much. You bet. That looks real nice. Are you trying to back out now? I think we've just gotten stuck.
it's unreal. I got, I was just gonna get a three ton come along. Just right there too. Right home for good. Totally and completely stuck. We just had the barge oh. welded and uh, we are stuck. Okay, I think they're actually considering attaching that to that. And I just feel like it might not be a good idea. see that whole side come down. Get out. Oh my goodness, this is really terrible. I feel so bad about this mess. Our truck is such a beast and the barge was just too heavy for this fill. Damien and his wife have been incredibly accommodating in every way. We've been really grateful for their professionalism, his excellent work and their kindness in general. Believe it or not, this is Damien's driveway. Now, I'm a little nervous here because I just destroyed his backyard and I sure don't want to wreck the trees that line his driveway, so I have to be really careful here.
left side there. There you go. Straight back. Whew. Okay, so here we come to pick up a motor for our fishing boat so that we can go this time and actually get somewhere. I think that little boat there looks a lot like ours. I think it is ours. Yeah, that one right there. Mm -hmm. So if that can handle... Oh no, it's a Lund. It's very close so... Yeah, it looks a lot. It looks very similar. So, picking up our motor today. That'll be great. Where should we go? In the back? We have to turn around. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, so here we are, backing up again. We're here to pick up the motor. Sitting so patiently. <laughs> We're just sitting patiently in the sun. What a good girl. <laughs> this feels surreal. Here we are, after weeks on the road, bringing this barge and our other supplies to an island that we absolutely love more than we could ever have imagined. We'll be there in less than two hours, and it feels amazing. So for some reason, the road just ends and becomes horrific. Yeah, just horrific. So we're on this now. Take a look at this thing. And it's just, it's just a matter of just getting through it now. Oh yeah. So we're going to go pretty slow. Hopefully we won't pop any tires. We'll let you know. This road is notorious for eating vehicles' tires. So you got to go slow. Speed limit there says, I think it says 60. It says 80. It says 80. 80! How could they expect anyone to go 80 on this road? Wow. But uh, there's substan some substantial logging action here. No kidding. Wow. That is unreal. And speaking of logging, we just ran into somebody at the, at the fuel station that uh, may be able to help us clear some land. So, you know, for building sites and maybe a central park area and so forth but uh, we'll figure that all out when we talk to you guys so anyways we'll get the camera out when it gets real bad yeah that's exactly what I was gonna say well surprise surprise we're what are we 17 kilometers in and the road's been great so far so uh, Let's keep our fingers crossed that we'll be good the rest of the way. Hey, honey? Yeah. Like, this is remarkable. Well, we're doing 72 kilometers an hour. We were doing as high as 78, so the road's really good. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so now we're doing 25 kilometers an hour because the road's a bit more sketch. We went through a really bad patch and now it's just uh, not as bad but it's still bad. I probably can't even make it out on the camera but it's really bumpy. Okay. Down to uh, 14 kilometers an hour. 13. 14, 13. <laughs> oh man. It's going to take a lifetime. I'm going to go over on my left side here. Yeah, just trying to, it's kind of like running a mogul slope, you know, you got to pick your line and then hope for the best. When we came in in the spring, it was a nightmare. And this is a bit hard on the, on the trailer and the barge. Well, and all of our equipment. And Ryan. <laughs> and the driver. No, it's not hard on me. I'm fine. 
the dog. She's kind of, she's finally sitting down because she's like, okay, this is this is a bit hard to manage. You think this is hard to manage, Opal? She's not even looking. She's giving me the cold shoulder. Yeah, here's some more hair. Oh wow. So sometimes I just actually go all the way over. That's into nice. Yeah. The yeah. other side of that the road. That works. Yeah. And the beauty is that we don't have a lot of traffic here. <laughs> we don't have a lot of traffic on this road, so we can kind of be kind of chicken pick and choose, chicken poos what, <laughs> what we want. We want chicken poo? Chicken poo what we want. We are 35 kilometers from the put-in, where we can put our barge in, to the lake. We're doing a lot of bobbing and weaving. Yeah, we're trying to avoid the rough road here. We're only traveling about 25 kilometers an hour because there's a lot of potholes in this logging road. It's pretty brutal, actually. But, you know, I was just thinking, we've been traveling on the road for two weeks now to go pick this barge up. It's been 13,000 kilometers. Wow. That is unreal. I guess it's time for an oil change. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we better walk. Yeah, we'll have to walk. Yeah, because if we try and take this barge and we can't turn around and can't back up. Yeah, we might have to back up all the way down to the lake. I don't know yet. So we're going to find out when we get there. These are all the unknowns we're going through right now. But uh, the sky has cleared up nicely. It's, it's going to be lovely. a nice night. Mm -hmm. Not a breath of wind, which is perfect for launching the, the barge. We are particularly mindful of the fact that we are hauling a six ton barge. It's packed with an industrial sized chipper, generator, and all the other supplies that we want to keep safe. Each and every pothole is a source of real concern. As you can see, we're stuck. While trying to get unstuck, we got more stuck. In the midst of it all, a guy rode up on his ATV and offered to get help from his friend who has a backhoe. What are the chances? We're finally here, but uh, this is total yeah, it is. It's just like baby powder, I was telling you. Oh. Jim says he's getting the tractor. A few miles away from where our island is, there's a small group of cabins at the end of the lake. They share a common road, and there are sections that are covered with thick silt. Oh our big heavy load, once again, proved too much for the road, and that is where we are right now. Getting better. You no, know, you're just going back into that bad stuff. Am I out of it yet? No. Uh-oh, what just happened? Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh no. <gasps> No more. Just about. Just about. It's a trailer that's holding us up. Well, it's stuck so bad. This trailer is stuck so bad in here. Oh dear. I just fear going any further because there's like a little cliffy type embankment here. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, no. This is impossible. This is impossible. Oh, this feels like a no-win situation. Here we are stuck in the middle of a road, in the middle of nowhere, and we are in big trouble. The truck and barge are dug in deep, straddling the entire road. Jim has just arrived back and he's brought John and the Bacco with him. Yay! We feel incredibly fortunate to yet again meet such helpful and kind people. we're out. We're just finding out where the boat launch is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, wow. Oh, we could totally do this. We could totally do this. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be a one-off. Once we get this thing in here, that's it. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. It doesn't look deep. Well, back there, okay. When you finally get going or whatever, watch that 
over there because it's kind of shallow. Okay. Because, well, it, this is a little bay, yeah. and then the main lake is over there. Okay, so stay to the right. Well, the, the right, middle. In the, right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. John does not want to be out here again with his no. tractor tonight. <laughs> Everybody has to help each other. Yeah. Oh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much, Jim. Oh, you're very welcome. This is beautiful, hey? Is. Oh, my goodness. There's a little cabin straight over there. Oh, I see it. I built that one. You did? Yeah. Uh oh. I often have to pinch myself. Melody and I are on an amazing journey. We never fail to be amazed and grateful at the kindness we see around us every single day. Like John says, we have to help each other. Those guys live like that. Here we are on the cusp of something truly great. We look forward to tomorrow. It's here, we're here. We're here, we're here. This is gonna be launching tomorrow. We're that far from the water. We made it! We made it! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.